it's Sarah. All right, you guys. So, how are you? <laughs> How's everyone doing? Um, it's been a wild couple of months. We've all been quarantined for the past almost two months. And, well, I just hope you're all doing fine. I mean, I hope we're all okay. I hope we're all healthy. And, you know what, you guys? I just really hope we can weather through this. No, and I, I feel like we can. We really can do this. We just have to stay strong and face it head on. But, anyway. Let's move on with the video. I just want to quickly acknowledge our frontliners, like from our nurses, doctors, everyone, even to our grocery store clerk and personnel, to our garbage collectors, to a lot of employees who are still working outside of their home. Thank you, thank you so much for taking care of us. You guys are keeping us all afloat and we all owe you guys so much. So thank you. We see you, we appreciate you, we love you so much. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so let's move on with the video. So if you clicked on this, it's because, yeah, you're curious as to how I lost the 10 pounds. But I want to put in a quick disclaimer. I just want to say that your weight does not define you, okay? Like you are beautiful no matter what your weight is. I mean, it's just that I wanted to share my personal journey because for someone like me who has anxiety, I have been uh, clinically diagnosed. For you to hear that you can't leave the house, that you're stuck at home, you can't even gym, and if you guys know me, you guys know I love the gym, that kind of takes a toll on me. It was a lot for me to handle and I really got stressed with it. So yeah, I really decided like I made a decision, I made a promise to myself that I wasn't gonna gain any unnecessary weight or at the very least just maintain I know I wasn't gonna gain, yeah, very least maintain and if possible lose um, some unwanted fat as well um, and I'm happy to report that I have been su successful pretty successful with that endeavor so yeah I just want to give you guys my tips and tricks as to how I lost those 10 pounds um, I also want to say that I do not believe in losing your weight in an unhealthy way like the sky flakes diet or you know just eating one type of food no please do not do that I do not believe in that I don't wanna I don't want you guys to end up in the hospital so I just want you all to know that the tips I'm about to give you are healthy. I mean, for the most part, because you might end up feeling hangry, you know, like hungry and angry at the same time. But it's gonna be fine because it's just something that you have to put your body through so that you'll be done with it, okay? All right, so with that said, let's move on to our first tip. Tip number one ration your food that's right ration your food in a way you're kind of dieting um so with the coronavirus happening everyone i mean not everyone a lot of people are panic buying which basically mean that they're buying things that they won't really be able to consume within the next two weeks or within the next month even so i implore you guys to please don't do this not only are you guys gonna stop or prevent yourself from overeating you guys are actually giving other families who might need these um, products just as much as you do so moving on with rationing your food so what happened with us is that we never really panic bought because we didn't want to you know we didn't want to deprive other families of the basic necessities that they needed so we would always have in our grocery a list so that we won't overbuy things. And apart from that, throughout the week, we already have or we already know more or less what food we're going to eat. So we know what ingredients we need to buy. So when, with that said, know what you're going to buy in the grocery and stick to that. Avoid the junk food aisle. I know it's difficult. It's difficult. But if you guys are gonna reward yourself with something, okay, fine. Have one junk food with you. Pick one. For me, it was ice cream. But yeah, so ration your food. 
If you're the type to have three to five meals a day, don't worry, you don't have to go pro and buy a weighing scale, um, though it will help when it comes to cooking. For me, I use the palm rule. Basically, I get whatever food I get from the dining table, I make sure it's no bigger than the palm of my hand. This is a good tip because sometimes it's relative to the person. Like, there are bigger people with bigger palms and obviously if you're a bigger person, um, you will need to eat more. And if you're a smaller person, you don't need to eat as much. So yeah, do the palm rule. If you're the type to snack throughout the day or, or if you're the type to eat more than three meals a day, then I would really suggest that. But if you're like me, for the past two weeks, I have been doing intermittent fasting. Not because I planned it, but because I realized or I just sort of discovered that I wasn't really as hungry when I wake up and I didn't really feel like having breakfast. I would be fine with coffee. So what I would have is just a cup of black coffee, cream and sugar. Yes, I know that does have a bit of calories, but I let it go. And I work out basically fasted. So after my working out, um, I my first meal would end up being at 4 p.m. in the afternoon or 3 p.m. in the afternoon. My very first meal of the day would be a very big meal. So lately, I have been addicted with pesto pasta with uh, maple bacon on top and a little bit of Parmesan cheese. So it's just been, yeah, it's been gratifying because I don't feel like I'm starving myself and apart from that I mean I have the three basic um, macronutrients in it the pr protein from the turkey bacon the carbs from the pasta and the fat from the olive oil or cheese but sometimes I, ha I put in a scoop of whey protein if there's no other meat sources keep in mind that if there's chicken, then I get some chicken. If there's egg white, I get some egg white and I put in some spinach. What matters is I get my macronutrients from what like, most people would call real food. So it's not junk food. Because sometimes even junk food has protein, carbs, and fat. But it also matters where you're getting these, um, where the sources of these macronutrients you're getting them from. Okay? So yes, ration your food palm hand rule and make sure you get your protein, fats, and carbs. Hmm. Okay, so I think we did well with that first tip. Yeah, I would also stop eating if it's already 10 p.m. I would stop eating, not for anything, but just so I wouldn't over binge because sometimes I do tend to binge eat. And I guess that leads us to our tip number two. Do things that make you happy to prevent you from binge eating. <laughs> That's a pretty, pretty big uh, tip. But basically, if it's not the time to eat, you should do something that would preoccupy you from binge eating. For me, that has been playing video games. So if you guys want to watch me play video games, you can follow me on my Twitch. That's at Carla Sarah or twitch.tv slash Carla Sarah. Um, I'll also be streaming from my Facebook like page. So give that a like. All right. So yeah, for me, I play video games because I find that I don't really binge eat whenever I do play these games. So far, I've been addicted to Animal Crossing and lately Final Fantasy VII Remake. So these are the things that work for me. Now keep in mind, if you're not the type to play video games, you could read a book, um, do chores, do errands around the house if that's what's going to make you happy, declutter, and well, pretty much do anything else that's good for your mind and soul. And I'm saying this because we're going on with our tip number three. Don't, don't, don't stress yourself out. And this is why you shouldn't stress yourself out. And I know that's kind of difficult to do, especially with the coronavirus happening, but bear with me here. Dr. Bushwald Werner said, and I quote, Elevated cortisol levels disrupt the body's blood glucose control by stimulating glucose secretion from stores in the liver and limiting the release of the hormone responsible for removing excess glucose from the bloodstream insulin. So, long story short, 
more stressed you are, the more incapable your liver is of releasing the hormones responsible for, I guess you could say, burning your fat. So that's the thing. And it is true. Like, um, there have been other people sharing their testimonies that their bodies do look different the minute they stop overthinking the process of losing weight and they just enjoy it, meaning they don't stress about it. So basically, don't stress yourself out. Notice how my tip number three is kind of related to my tip number two. Do things that make you happy that can stop you from binge eating, but make sure they do make you happy because then you'll be, you know, just free flowing with your thoughts, with your vibe. Five? Did I just say five? That's so weird. Okay, you'll just be free flowing with everything that you're doing and you'll be happier. You're not as stressed. And I think now more than ever, we need to have our morale up because of the pandemic. So yeah, do things that make you happy, you guys. Okay, we're down to our last tip. I'm sorry, my hair is a mess. Okay, tip number four. And this is kind of a no-brainer, but exercise. Even if it's just cardio, maximum of one hour a day, almost every day if you want to. Um, yeah, there are a lot of fitness influencers right now who are coming out with no equipment, no jumping you know whatever kind of workout you want basically it's really important now more than ever to stay active and to take note of your health because this pandemic is really about our immune system and how well we take care of our bodies so the good news is okay this is the second time i'm taking this clip but basically the good news is i found that i never really had to go super hard with my workouts because I realized since I really wasn't eating as much I didn't take in that much calories even though I've just been staying at home but sometimes the extra things that I would try to do at home like decluttering or cleaning the house or maybe even cooking it helps keep, keep you active because you're not just sitting down you get what I'm saying so yeah just exercise go at it do cardio you could find exercises online myself included that doesn't require you to have like a complete gym so yeah there we go so there you guys have it those are my four tips as to how I lost 10 pounds during this quarantine season and I hope you guys will take these into consideration but yeah I'll see you guys on my next video. It's going to be a workout video. And if you guys like this one, please leave a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe and to like this video. You can also me on my other um, social media pages. We have at carlos.sarah for Instagram, at carlos.sarah for Twitch, at when I say Sarah for Twitter, and SCCarlosOFC for my Facebook like page. So I'll see you guys next time. Stay safe. Stay healthy. I love you. Bye-bye.